We will set you up in your dad's old room. <laughs> your nan's airing it out right now, putting clean sheets on the bed. And if you can give me a hand after tea, I'll get the old TV off on the shed and put it in your room. <laughs> Probably make you laugh. It's a heavy old thing. Probably six times as fat as any TV you've ever seen. And it makes a kind of a funny humming sound, sort of a mmm. But at least it's in colour, you'll be pleased to know. I'm not sure how well it'll work with your video games, though. But we'll give it a shot, and if it doesn't, well, I'll snag the little one out of the kitchen. That's more modern. Well, it's flat, at least. Your nan likes to watch her shows on it while she's baking. But I'm sure she won't mind listening to the radio for a bit. Look, Ashton. I know you're not thrilled about coming to stay with us. But we just didn't want you to feel as though you're being punished. Nobody's mad or upset with you. You're not in trouble in any way. It's just that we're all concerned about you. But your mum and dad don't know what to do. It's been a terrible couple of months for all of us. But this anger of yours, we really need to do something about that, mate. It's not healthy. I'm not saying you don't have a right to be angry. You have every right to be as angry as bloody hell. I am too. Your mum and dad have already lost one child. Your sister, a sibling. And that's a dear grandchild. Nobody wants to add another to that tally. But we can't see what's going on in your head right now. It's going to lead to anything good. Really you need to take time and step away and clear your head. I'm going to take you fishing on Saturday. Nothing like a spot of fishing to help you relax and put things into perspective. No, don't give me that look. You used to love to go fishing with me back in the day. Back when you were my little buddy. Back when every word out of my mouth had you enthralled. When you thought, I knew all the answers to everything. I must admit, I haven't got all the answers on this one, I'm afraid. I'm looking for some myself. So how about we figure this one out together? I don't know about you, but I could really do with a friend like now. One who understands, is just as happy to chat as they are to shut the hell up when required. Someone who expects nothing, but understands everything. Let's try and figure this out together, eh?